Hello folks and welcome back to Satellite Rain. So I'm tempted to take the bank job first. Just because I think we need the money now. Granted, I spent so long getting all the waypoints up. By the way, we have all the waypoints in this area. All the beacons, rather. Um, that we can almost afford this thing just by itself. But being able to afford it and being able to pay for other stuff is nothing entirely. Now the bank is heavily fortified. So this is the bank here. You can see there's no clear way in. Oh wait, there's this over here, except, yeah, we've got some patrols in here. Of course, that data cache is something we're gonna need to get to eventually, but I think that infiltrator would be up to that. We can come in through here, maybe deactivate these. I have no idea what these connect to, but I'm assuming cameras. And we go up these steps, assuming they aren't patrolled coming through here and bada bing bada boom right maybe maybe what's interesting is that if we go through this door this door leads to this stair this stair takes us all the way over to here and this if we go down and through here and all this and through here and through this it actually leads us to Uzi Corp VIP high security access, which is what we need for yet another mission. So we can dovetail these somehow. This is the VIP storage facility. So let's go to the mission info here and see if there's a way we can do that. So this is their special branch storage facility, their high tech stuff. So VIP clients can afford to get another share of shady deals, but it's not as nearly as obvious as downstream in the self storage joints. It'll be more covert. So we're fast and lucky we should be able to find something good. So let's go ahead and purchase information, because why the hell not? Okay, if we can reach those data terminals and get in the system, we know where they keep all the best stuff and just how to get it. So their data terminals are going to be just inside there. Oh, get the security codes. Okay, so two data terminals are actually outside of the okay there's one inside a secure location there but that might not actually be that hard to get to oh, i still have the bank hack at the last did um hmm so okay this data terminal should be able to do easy right the one right next to us should be no problem so let's um go back to where we are here we are and where's our data terminal at? So I thought we were right next to it. So that's not at our data terminal, right? No, that's something else. I don't know what that's pointing us to. Um, so our data terminal, so what we need to do is get rid of anything not related. So let's clear all pings and just activate the pings for this okay that's a little easier to understand I think so they're both in that direction so why don't we go and climb up these stairs going around and getting the beacons I think actually helped me figure out where things are in relation to one another I'm not totally sold on that but I know more or less where things are now kind of sort of maybe sure we'll say kind of sort of maybe um, so, hold on guys, I want to make sure we're not, so is it this one? It is totally just this one. Now we're going to have to be careful not to be caught by the cameras or by the drone. I'm pretty sure they would take offense. Now what does the security system do? 90 seconds goes where? It goes that way. Oh, and if you're wondering what the red circle is, I was wondering that too. Um, there are actually jammers around. Um, don't think that's a jammer. That's just a drone. But if we look at the center of the circle, that's usually where the jammer is. Actually, I don't see a jammer in this vicinity. So I don't know. I saw a bunch of bad guys, and it went around their area. So it's possible there's a jammer... I don't know, tied to a hardwire point? That'd be kind of weird. This guy's just decided to walk into the door for no obvious reason. Um, not really walk into the door, but walk into the side of the door. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hack this terminal, and hopefully he doesn't care. Okay, he doesn't seem to care. Okay, so what do we got now? Okay, we got to go to the next one, which is inside the security area. Our infiltrator might be able to take that one, though. So let's find out. Let's head over there. I'm guessing this is further up. Yeah, okay. That's fine. There's probably even a waypoint in that general vicinity, but I'm not as comfortable here as I was downtown, which I guess is kind of the point of taking us into a brand new area, is so you get it outside your comfort zone a little bit. That's fine. Um, let's see. So, would this be it? I think so. So we can take out the cameras with basically no interference. Free takedown of cameras? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because no one's going to care. There's an ATM there. Did we hack this already? Oh, yeah, we totally hacked that already. All right. So, that's the terminal we want. How do we get in, though? I think it's just... Do we just walk in? Oh, I see. I see. I see. Disable well, that security system, and then our infiltrator can just walk over. I don't think the infiltrator even needs to do it. I think anybody can do it once we deactivated the cameras. Just a matter of patrols, which I don't see. So, I think we're okay. Yeah, I mean, what's the... What's the rub, you know? I'm looking for the trap here. I don't see a trap. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist, but I don't see it. I'll send in the infiltrator anyway. Um, yeah, walk over here. Walk through here. And go ahead and... Oh, we have to use the hacker on it. Damn it. Okay, bring the hacker over here. Doesn't even matter. Um, the door's just staying wide open. There we go. It's weird we have to use the hacker on this, but that's okay. If he dies, no big. Or she dies, I guess. I'm used to the hacker being male from the first go through. Okay. So let's get into that facility, she says. All right, Tag, I believe you, but how do we do it? So. Okay. Theoretically, we know how to get into the VIP security. Okay. Activate the ping. Yeah, we know where to get. So I'm confused. Okay, so we just have to get inside the facility and then we'll know exactly what to get. Supposedly. Alright. Um, I think that's actually the easiest way to get there. So let's buy information on the bank. Because... Oh, there's nothing there. Okay. So we just go in, we steal. All right, then we get 140% on our ATM siphons. I like that idea. Um, let's do it. So the bank's here. And then we'll go ahead and go around. So that means we are taking all four of our guys, which should be okay. It's funny, we're at 12,000 now. We could totally buy that uh, silencer. Should we do it? I think we should. I think we should do it, and then we'll build up a little bit more of a nest egg, and then we'll start research on the silencer, and that's the key thing, is being able to mass duplicate it, um, or manufacture it, rather. So let's go ahead and... That's right. It wasn't there. It was the black market guy. There we go. Black market dealer, weapons, lasered silencer. Oh, it's 12300. So we just need to wait a little bit more, let it tick, and we'll be fine. Um, so that's Uzi Corp, which we're going to get to. But first, we take care of the bank. First the bank, then the world, as they say. I'm sure somebody says it somewhere. Don't give me that. Somebody's got to say it. So what do you think these do? I think they're very important. What do you think? Um... I don't know about very important. Looks like they control cameras inside Uzi Corp there. And this one has only one point to that camera. That's it? Seriously? You need a whole generator just for that? I'm not even going to bother then. I, mean, I have no idea what that controls. It goes off into the distance. It's really hard to tell what. 
but I'm not seeing the benefit there. So I'm going to ignore it, possibly to my detriment, but I think we're okay. So here's the bank. So yeah, what we're going to do, my, my general plan is anyway, is to go in through this door over here. I think there's going to be patrols, but, you know, we can... Uh, okay, now we can afford the silencer. Let's go ahead and do it. We can, uh, you know, shoot our way through. Let's purchase prototype. Thank you. And what is it going to take to research this prototype? Out of curiosity. It is going to take, okay, a little under 4K. We should have that by the time we do this bank job, I think. Um, so if we go ahead and sneak over here, it's kind of dangerous to do this while the patrol's right there. But what are the chances you're going to walk very far away? Um, not very, because he just turned around. But what we can do is we can hijack him. Once he gets outside of the camera range, then we don't need to worry about him at all. In fact, he'll even help us. So why don't we do that? Let's go ahead and... Um, he walked out of range again. That's okay. Can you walk over here? He's probably going to go to the door. He didn't, though. Um, there. Take your brain over. Just, you know, your everyday brain taking over device. And done. Okay. Now the patrol guy is on our side. We can go ahead and hack this door, and nobody's going to be the wiser, which I'm good with. And now he'll help us, which I like. Now we're going to go ahead and sneak along the sides here. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't go through the door yet. Okay, now go through the door. And just keep to the walls as much as possible. Try not to get caught. You know, the usual. Let's come around here. Sure enough, there's a security patrol. That's fine. Um, we could probably send out number five. But I'm not going to do that right now. I couldn't tell you exactly why, but it just feels wrong. This guy's run over here so the camera doesn't see us. We're good. Okay. And then I think we just take out all those hardwire points as soon as the patrol goes by. And I think the patrol is going to go up the stairs. No, we're just going to circle. Well, that complicates things somewhat. Let's come over here. It's possible we'll need to open fire, which would be unfortunate, but silly. Vie. Okay, how fast can you do this, man? Move fast. I have no idea what these are doing, but I'm assuming they're doing something. And then as soon as you finish, good, come over here and take cover. Up, oh, okay, we were seen. We were seen. Everybody pull out your guns and fire. Um, you can take him down a little faster than that, guys. A little bit faster. Okay, good. He's out. Thank you. Um, I don't know where the hell the other patrol went. But I'm okay with him not being here right now. We made a lot of noise. Don't mind telling you that. But the guards are on the other side, so I don't think I care. Alright, we're almost there. Looks like taking out the hardwire points disabled a lot of these cameras. Which I'm okay with. And pull up the guns again, guys, because we're going to have to take out this guy. He was looked surprised, I think. Yep, pretty surprised. And he's out. Go in through here, please. And then we'll take all the money, basically, and do the infiltration piece and everything. Now, they're going to have time to set up a perimeter, which is unfortunate. But I think we go and run like hell. We got 9,000... Plus the vault cash for 12,000. Oh man, we, we won the game, basically. Okay. Run, 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 guys. Run all the way through. We need to get to a defensive position. As soon as you can. Okay, we're good. Um, anytime you want to send off a grenade, that'd be great. Number one. What are you doing, man? Come back here. Um, heal up. Uh, number one took some serious damage. Okay, guys, we're leaving. We're leaving right now. Um, this is not the way we want to go, though, is it? 
Shit, no it isn't. Because we want to go up. That's right, because we want to go around. Okay. Well, if we're going to make it anyway. Throw the grenade, please, and hopefully that'll help us. Oh, yeah, that helps us. Okay. Take out that guy, please. And that guy. Number one is down. We can take care of that, though. Number four, take care of number one. Everybody else, as soon as number one is taken care of, open fire on that guy. He's out. Take open fire on this guy. Uh, if you guys can take any kind of cover, that'd be great. Uh, number one, you too, man. I don't know what the hell you're doing. Okay, we're good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'm mean, gonna know he's gonna call for help. And there's a door right next to us where he's gonna call help from. Yep. Shit. That was probably not the best place for a grenade, but... Yeah, okay. That was not the best place for a grenade at all. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose out. That's unfortunate. Fortunately, money's digital. Um, but I think we need to leave, like, right now. Right now, guys. Right now. We are in a bad way. We can always come back if we need to, but I don't think we're going to come back this way. Run if you can, and heal up as much as possible. Uh, can you heal up number one here? Heal up one, though. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we just need to wait a little bit until the heat's off and we get our energy back and regen a little bit. They're going to be very defensive, so they're going to go slow, which I'm okay with, and they're not even going to know where we are, I don't think. So we can regen a little bit and then double back. But right now they don't know where we are, so they're, they're going cover to cover, which I'm good with. If we go around over here, we should be able to take them in a firefight, I think. Or they just forget about us. That's weird, but okay. In which case, we can um, take the guy over, so he doesn't see us. Is he going to actually get in range for this? That'd be pretty funny. Of course, his friend might object, but I'm okay with that. Oh, and he barely has any health, though. Um, yeah, his friend totally objects. Don't let him call it in. Don't let him call it in, though. Don't let him call it in. You guys let him call it in. What were you thinking? Okay, well, the alarm's up again. So now what? Um, now we take... We stay in this defensive position. I think that's what we do, is we stay here. And take out anybody who looks like they might try to call any other help in. Just don't move from this position. I think we're good here. I'm really tempted to make our cloak guy... Okay, here we go. Here's the big guns over here. Can we actually throw the grenade that far? Number one's going outside the cover to do it. Don't know if that was a good idea, number one. Number one actually get there? No, he didn't. Number one, go ahead and throw the grenade out. And then come back over here. Ha! That's always satisfying when it works. Alright, they're going to be in a bad way. Yep, they were in a bad way. Alright, oh, we've got more guys, though. Take cover, take cover, take cover. Over here, though. Uh, number four, you want to come. Yeah, right there. It's good. Take out the dog. Take out the dogs, though. Okay, dogs out. And then these guys. Come on, come on, come on. Heal up a little bit. Oh, man, come on, guys. Come on, though. They keep calling in help. And then we get more alarms. This bank is very heavily defended. Did I mention that? Okay, four. Uh, just four. Get back over here. Eventually, they're going to run out of guys, right? You'd think so. Maybe not, though. We're doing pretty well on health, as long as we stay up. Okay, we good? 
I think we're okay. Go ahead and harden up our soldier here. I don't know if that'll actually help us at all, but did it anyway. We do have another grenade, you know, in case you were wondering. Okay, another guy. We're all in cover, so he's not going to see us until right now, I guess. Okay, come on. Just take care of you, man. They're probably wondering why we're still here. They don't know we have another exit strategy here. Now, the real trick is what is our exit strategy? Once we get out of the Uzi place, there's going to be some serious problems. What is our exit strategy? I guess to go back the way we came in, which means through the bank. That could be a problem. We'll try it. Okay, so I think we took care of most of the problems here. There is a guy here. Take up positions. Um, there's a couple of guys there, actually. Sure, what the hell, do it. Okay, they're gonna drop pretty soon, and then he's gonna come to the door. Or he should be coming to the door any minute now. The guy in the shield is not coming to the door. So we're gonna have to deal with this the hard way. That's unfortunate. I don't see another way to do it, though. I don't see a hard point for the door on this side, so... We have to send in the hacker, and then everybody, everybody I said, actually the hacker might be able to do this. If he can zap his brain, we can get him before he tries to shoot us, maybe, possibly. That's worth a shot. Okay, you guys go through the door, and V is going to take care of his brain. Oh, we don't even need to open the door for that, that's hilarious. Which is fine for us, because it looks like he did something to the door to break it. Or maybe that was us with the hard point? That's possible. So, he, oh, he can't do the hard point on that side, though. Damn it. How do we get this door? There's a hard point over on that side, but... How do we get to this door? Where is it? It's... Troublesome, is what it is. Oh, you know what? It's because we disabled the hard point. Damn it. That's why the door won't work. Oh, man. Can we, like, reassemble it or something? Oh, man, there's got to be a way. Okay, you know what? We're sending you off to the cloning facility. I don't know what it's going to do for us right now, but... Oh! Ho, <laughs> ho, 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 ho! That actually helped me. The only way through to the cloning facility is if he does... The hard point. That's great. That's fantastic. And it's going to take him however long it takes him. I don't care how long it takes him. We've taken rid of. We've gotten rid of all security on this side. It gives us time to heal. Also gives time for the um, the door to go down. And we can shoot these guys if we need to. But we don't need to. We can just come over here. Yeah, you guys can fire all you want, man. We're on the other side. I don't even care. You can call in security, whatever you want to do, it's not going to help, because we're done with the bank right now. Yeah, so the alarm went off on the bank side, but they'll lose interest by the time we're done with Uzi Corp, I think. So I think we're okay. We lucked out there. I was pretty lucky, I think. Um, what we're going to have to do, though, because this camera's not moving very far away, is we're going to have to shoot at the camera. That's unfortunate. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Camera's out. Okay. They're going to be awfully suspicious about that, so take whatever cover you can and fire. Um, any of that. Get rid of the dog. Get rid of the dog, though. Okay, there we go. Dog taken care of. They called in help, though. That's unfortunate. We'll go ahead and kill these guys as much as possible. We have, like, no cover. That's unfortunate, too. Um, number four tried to kick him away there. Um, can we heal up number four? That's pretty good. Okay. So they called in help, but I don't actually see it. So I don't know how that works. Huh. Somebody called in the all clear. I'm glad they did, but I'm kind of confused why. But that's all right taken care of. Let's go through the door. And then we should be pretty close to the VIP center. 
Um, let's sneak over here just because I feel it's sneaking. And you never know. And also it helps us... Okay, so yeah, we go through the green door and they get just right into the VIP. Okay. Sounds like a plan. This guy's asking to be shot, though. He really is. I mean, he keeps just going inside, in and out of the door. Like, that's going to help anything. Yeah, come on. Come on back, man. I'm going to shoot you in the face. A couple of dozen times, actually. And fire. Oh, and back down he goes. Okay, guys, go follow him. Oh, well, hell. That was not on the plan. Um, yeah, take out this guy. A lot of shield to go through. We're almost there, and he's dead. And then this guy should be dead pretty soon. There we go. Another one? Okay, take him out too. Okay, that's it, right? That's it. Okay, go. Into the high security storage area. Oh, we didn't have to have to have to deal with the turret over here. Which is good, because I'm not sure how I would deal with the turret. Okay, prototype acquired. Full leg replacement. Sounds good to me. So we could get out this way. We could. Doesn't sound like a good idea, though, does it? Not with that turret right there. How much health does that turret have? 400. I have no idea what that's in relation to, really. We're still going to get out the hell out of Dodge, though. I'm going to go back the way we came. Because it's safer. I think. Pretty sure. Like, 90% sure. Maybe, maybe 75. Well, 60. Well, 35%. But it's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. 35% is totally survivable. It's like a whole one-third chance of survival. Better chance you'll get um, in a war zone, I guess? Okay, come through here. Okay, so now we go through the bank, which is, ironically, a little less defended. Well, I don't know if that's actually true. The turret is intimidating, I'll tell you that. But um, I'm not sure I'd actually call it less defended. Okay, so they were apparently aware that we came in through this way. But do we have to go back out this way? Yes, yes, we do. This is a dead-end alley. It only goes up here. Okay. We did a hard wire point on the door, so it's going to stay open. So we just walk on through, and now we run? Yeah, I think we run. Hey, guys. Um, yeah, you guys go ahead and talk about it for a while. Um, I'm going to be over here running away. You guys can hit my armor in the back, but that's totally fine. I'm okay with that. Okay, that I'm not okay with. Hey, guys. You guys are blocking my way, though. So, I mean, that's the only reason why I'm shooting you now. Just so you know. Take care of you. And you're out. Yep, you're out. Come back over here. Okay, this is a problem. Not a good crossfire for us to be in right now. I say we throw a grenade, number one. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's a good idea, too. Okay. Um, no, you know what? Run. Run. Run as far and as fast as you can. Just go. Oh, number one's down. It's okay, didn't have anything important. Go, go, go. Um, except there's no way out without number one. Shit. Number one's about to die, and we just dropped the prototypes. Are you serious? Where'd it go? Shit. Shit. Nope. Um, they just walked by two and three. I don't know why they did that. Okay, can we at least get two and three out? I would love to, but I don't see how. With the hard wires disabled, there's no way through that door without someone that can do hard wire points. Um, I mean, we can try to hack the door, but it'd be doing it under fire, and it's really unlikely. These guys, yeah, number three is just out. That's our hacker. Support guy's gonna die in a minute. I think that's it, guys. Well, I guess I should have tried to go for the turret. Because that's it for them. Okay, so let's respawn at the nearest thing. Um, we're just going to lose out an experience. That's fine, I guess. Not great, but fine. And we'll go ahead and respawn here. Okay, so where are we now? 
We're over here. We dropped the prototypes. That's unfortunate. We got the bank. The bank is totally gotten. We should do the research while we're here. Let's go ahead and do research. Um, yeah, we only need two to make this work, so we'll go ahead and do the laser silencer for research. So what went wrong there? Well, I think we ran instead of staying and fighting. I think that's what caused us to fail. I think if we had stood our ground and fought it out, we would have been in a more defensible position. We would have been able to take them all out, and that would have been it. But unfortunately, I decided to run for it, and that caused all the problems. So I think that's our situation report there. Um, OK, so actually, we were near the bank, which is where we don't want to be right now. Where we want to be is like way over here. OK, so there's a turret there. Is that like inside the facility? Maybe. Yeah, I think it is, because I think we can go over here with no problems um, somehow. Yeah, we can go around something. They'll go be around in a minute. They're working their way there now. So yeah, that was problematic. We lost the prototypes, which means we need to do it again. Fortunately, we know what to do and how to hit it. Well, maybe. I mean, we know what to do once we're inside. The problem is getting inside. We could try the bank route again, but the bank's really heavily defended, as opposed to just having to deal with the turret. I mean, it is quite a beefy turret. has 400 points of health plus 400 points of armor. 800. What are we currently at right now? We're at 85. So it has four times our health, but we do have four guys. So maybe... What's our armor count? 85 out of 85 armor. Um, there we go, 230 out of 230 health. Okay, that sounds a little more doable. So it has four times our armor. Okay, don't split up, guys, okay? We all want to go in the same location, um, I think, don't we? Where were you going, anyway? So there's a beacon over here, which we to totally have taken. Okay, so we can go through here. And that will get us there. But there's gonna be there's gonna be patrols between there and here. Alright. So I'm gonna have to think about this. Um the hardwire points will probably help. Just a guess. Oh yeah, that's totally gonna help. It's gonna help with the cameras, might have helped with the doors. But we know if we grab a guy beyond the doors, we'll still be able to make that work. So let's change over our guns. We're near a beacon. We can totally do that. Um, and actually, we don't even need to worry about that right now. Let's just change over to lasers. Are the lasers better? I don't know. Oh, we can probably put away our guns right now, guys. It's okay. But let's try our look at our skills and make sure we're not missing anything important. So our hacker has... Is that three points? Yeah, we do totally have three points. So let's go ahead and do hacking level five for him. And our support guy also has three points. Let's put it in leadership because that'll help with our cooldowns for all this. You have two points. I'm not sure you have anything I want for two points. And you have one point and you have nothing I want for one point. Okay, what about gear? We have body armor light. I don't know about the Fred, though. I don't, would the Fred have helped? Being able to drop in a fully healthy clone right in the firefight, maybe, possibly? I'm not sure. I'm not sure it would have actually worked. We have augmentations. We probably don't want to use the prototypes for those, though, because then we'll definitely lose it. Yeah. So we don't want to do that. We want to make sure we get the research for it. How long is the research going to take? Research is going to take 13 minutes. Yeah, we're not just waiting for that. Okay, so next episode, we'll try this affront to go into the Uzi Corp. We tried doing the back way. It didn't work. We might have to try it again. We'll see. We'll see if maybe we can deactivate this guy's hardpoint or something, but I have a feeling... 
that sentry is not going to be that easy to take down. Maybe, though, this hard point controls him? That'd be great. Seems unlikely, but we can try it. But anyway, that'll be next episode. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Satellite Rain. This has been Attempt. But um, we'll keep trying. I'm PC Universe, you're PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.